Hey guys, welcome back to a new vlog. Hope you're all having a really good day. Um, so the parquet wood flooring mission continues. Um, I'm gonna show you what we're up to this morning because wow, 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 wow. So as you know, we went to, um, so as you know, we recently purchased some new parquet wood flooring. Um, it is reclaimed, there's like, 30 something square meters of it to do our lounge um we've been unpacking it and trying to get it ready but we've just discovered that there's like four different size pieces of wood so we're having to sort them all before we can decide which piece is going to go in the middle which piece is going to go on the edge all that kind of stuff needs to be worked through so let me show you what we're doing okay so here we are the parquet wood sorting piles. Um, let me just zoom out a bit. There we are. So these are all more reclaimed parquet wood. These are the last ones that we've got to do. We've already done all of these and all of these. So these are all sorted into their different sizes. The one that we've got the most of, um, we're thinking like round, like do that in the middle. The one we've got the less of, we'll do round the edge and then we're just gonna have to hope and pray that we have enough and then anything that's left over we can kind of sort through in a different way or use in a different way we're not really sure but there is so much of it here i mean if you ever wondered what 500 pounds worth of reclaimed parquet looks like and this is really old stuff this is from the 50s it's got like um like carpet mastic on it that's like really hard and dry and we're really struggling to get it off so uh, we've done some so we did like well, that pile there took me all day to like scrape off um, using like a little clamp chisel that kind of thing um, and it's just not really practical so Jack's gone to see if we can get some sort of like sander that might remove it um so we're just gonna go and see if we can get one of those but this is this is my life so right now i should be um doing the unboxing videos but this is taking a little bit longer than what we planned so this is my uh my mission until i can get it done hopefully it should be done this morning and then i can crack on with doing all the other things that i need to do and then Jack's gonna have a play at seeing what we can do to get this stuff off in a quicker way. Okay, so Jack has brought up all these tiles so there's about a thousand tiles here Some yeah so these are all the tiles to go in the middle of the floor and um, we do need to go back through them again and start cleaning sorting and organizing them into the exact size so some of them are just slightly different from each other um, and we just need to make sure that those ones are all together with the other ones um, but yeah this is an epic pile of parquet wood flooring um, obviously it does still have all the like mastic on it um, which we'll need to sort of sand off but yeah that is a good job so here we are day four these are all the ones that we have prepped so far so these have all been cleaned and scraped and ready to be laid down and these ones are the edging tiles. So we've got 200 edging tiles that need to be cleaned. And then we've done a thousand of the middle tiles. Um, I'm sure this isn't gonna take as long as doing the last lot because that was an absolute mission. Uh, hopefully these ones will be much easier, but we will see as the evening progresses. But the plan is to try and get as many of these done so Jack can like start laying the first floor tiles tomorrow, uh, which is actually Jack's birthday. How old are you gonna be? About 23. 23. <laughs> oh, no.
Okay, so all the blocks are now sorted. We've laid them out in their little piles. Uh, and Jack's laid the first few this afternoon. You can see the little blue line on the floor there. That's like the center line for the floor. It goes all the way back. So this is the beginning of the floor laying going down. There's so many of them. <laughs> Morning folks, hope you're all having a good day. Um, I have some exciting news. I'm gonna show you what we've been up to this week. Um, really <laughs> amazing progress. I cannot believe that <laughs> the tile cleaning has finished and we're at this stage already. It absolutely looks phenomenal. There is a lot to do still, like, like no word of a lie, there is a lot to do. Like each one of these tiles has got a little journey to go on before it's done. Uh, but we have a floor. So, as you can see, we've got a floor. This is amazing. I cannot believe we're at this stage. Like, I just felt like it was never ever going to happen. So there is still a little bit of work to do. Um, as you can see, we haven't got any like border tiles like we have for the hallway. Um, so basically Jack has to draw a straight line all the way along and then he has to get a, like a, a machine and cut and then knock the edges off and then lay two border tiles along here. Um, and then obviously we've got to build the ridge and all of these need to be sanded and they have to have um, like the oil and varnish and uh, filler and stuff on them. But wow, what a difference. I mean, this is amazing. So today my job is to clear out some more of the stuff from the flat and take it down to the store cupboard. Um, and I've got a little job to do with my uh, plants because they need repotting. It's been two years since we repotted them and they have got totally pot bound and are not looking their best selves. So they need to be repotted. But other than that, uh, yeah, it looks like it's gonna be a good day. Hey guys, so today is Monday. Today is the day that we begin sanding the floors. So Jack has just gone to go and get the floor sander. He has got a little job to do this morning and then he's coming home with it later on this afternoon. So uh, it is really exciting. Uh, we cannot wait. Um, I'm just really gonna turn the camera around and show you uh, how clear and how spacious everything is looking right now because obviously, We've had to basically get rid of everything that was in the hallway, everything that was in the lounge. It's all gone now. Um, so we can begin this process. Um, so this will be the first time you've really seen both floors completely clear, which is really exciting. So um, yeah, let me just uh, spin the camera around. So here we are. Here is the hallway floor that we have laid. So it is a teak parquet reclaimed um yeah all hand cut um all laid by us which we're really really excited about we've still got some work to do in the cupboards so this is going to have like a mirror on it this cupboard um we'll have like coats in it and then the cupboard at the end down here is going to have um all jacks like computers and tech and stuff in it so it's not in the lounge but yeah it's going to look absolutely stunning when you come in um obviously we've had to rehome our sofa in our kitchen um, and a few other things around the house then we have the lounge so at the moment, obviously, it does have two different finishes on the floor. Obviously, once you sand that, it's going to look much more uniform. Again, teak. Um, really, really nice. Massive, massive room in here. Um, so this is going to be a really <laughs> bit of a mission. We're not quite sure how it's going to work because obviously we've got all this mastic that we've got to try and sand off at the same time. Hopefully... Um, 
it will work. We're praying. Um, never done it before, so we're not really, really sure. Um, but yeah, all the way around, we've got like this gorgeous like border. Um, but yeah, it's going to look so good. Oh my gosh, I cannot wait to see the floor in here. It's going to be a very noisy, messy couple of days. We've got a couple of shields to put up on the doors and things so the dust doesn't go completely everywhere. Um, but yeah, this is how it's looking. Um, um, so obviously there's not really much that I can do. Like there's just one machine we're hiring. So Jack's going to be doing it himself and I'm just going to be in the way. So, uh, mostly I think I'm going to be in the garden for the next couple of days. I've got a few little jobs to do out there. We've had some pallet cuffs turn up, uh, to make a couple of raised beds, which is really exciting, uh, around our rose bush. So that's going to happen. Yay. Uh, and um, yeah, just spend some time outside, which will be really nice. And here it is, the sander and the edging machine. These are super expensive to hire. Well, they weren't too expensive. Comes in at about £180 for, two, for a week. So this should give us plenty of time to have some fun with this new bit of equipment we've hired spending the whole day sanding the floor. Um, let me zoom out a bit, there you go. So this is a whole day's worth of sanding. Um, as you can see, it is rather a messy job. Um, you're starting to see like bits of the floor where it's uh, coming up really nicely. Um, so like here, here, you can see the mastics coming off. Um, it's looking a bit more uniform in some places, I guess. You can see the sort of color it's gonna be, this beautiful, beautiful color that's coming up just here. Really, really, really nice. Um, really lovely, like rustic, gorgeous, gorgeous tones. Uh, Jack's gone to go and get some more sanding belts, some of the stronger ones, because we've got lots of the small, like the less strong ones, and we just need some more strong ones to try and get the last of this up uh, before he starts doing a few passes to get some dust to fill it with. Um, but yeah, obviously he's got lots more work to do around the edges. I mean, you can see, like this is this is caked, absolutely caked okay so it's the end of day two and you can really start to see how really fantastic this floor is going to be looking um absolutely beautiful so really really nice sort of like rustic-y um warm tones really really lovely we are struggling quite a lot to get the stuff, like the mastic off, uh, especially like round the edges. Um, so we're having to do a lot of that by hand at the moment. Um, or I say we, Jack is having to do a lot of it by hand. Um, but this, like for example, over here, just looks absolutely beautiful, really, really nice, really, really lovely floor. Um, yeah, it's just got such an amazing feel to it. It just looks super stunning. Um, really love this colour. Um, I don't want it to be any darker than this, although I know it will be a little bit darker just because it's got like a little bit of dust on it at the moment. Um, yeah, you just get a really nice feel for what it's going to look like with the clear matte um, varnish that we're doing, which is... Yeah, a clear matte finish rather than like shiny so um so yeah i do look a hot mess right now because obviously uh we've been really crazy busy i've been in the garden doing lots of gardening stuff um and um, yeah as you can see the walls are absolutely caked in dust and so is the rest of the flat so i've just spent the past hour or so giving everything a bit of a clean down um 
you would go back to the beginning and you couldn't tell that I cleaned it. It's so dusty. It's like the Sahara Desert has moved in. So um, yeah, it's just insane. Um, but we're just so um, happy with how the floor's looking. Jack's shoulder's really starting to hurt though from using the sanding machine. Uh, he's been doing it for two days now and probably has another two to three days ahead of him of using it. So there's quite a lot still to do. Um, and um, yeah, it's not the easiest thing. Like I wouldn't recommend anybody doing this unless you are 100% committed to having like a restored floor. Um, whereas we were just trying to save money. Um, obviously that is another good reason to do it, but yeah, it is very, very labor intensive. So um, yeah, just not one for the faint hearted, I would say, but you know, when you think that a floor like this, if you bought it brand new, had someone lay it and sand it would cost probably in the region of, I don't know, 2000 pounds, something like that. It will be worth it once it's done and we can look back and just see how beautiful our floor is and just, you know, really enjoy it for, for what it is. So yeah, that's just really exciting, but there is just so much, so much to do. <laughs> Oh my gosh, yeah. It's like we've gone back in time 12 months and everything is filthy again. Hey guys, so today is Sunday. Um, I have been really poorly this week, so you may have not seen me as much online as I hoped. Um, I'm still recovering, but I thought I'd give you a quick update on how the floor is coming. As you can see, the flat is absolutely trailer trash. It is horrific, um, but uh, I can't wait to show you how the floor's looking. It looks really good. Um, so I'm just gonna give you a little quick tour through. Jack's actually doing a little bit of de-nubbing at the moment. So we've actually put the first coat of sealer on the floor which does change the color of the wood a little bit. Okay, broke my heart, uh, but he's denubbing it. So any of the raised like follicles, he's like sanding them back down. So it's nice and smooth when he does the next coat. So let's have a little look. So here we have the hallway. And then there is the floor. I mean, it looks really glossy, doesn't it? Yeah, it won't look as bad once the nap goes on afterwards. It's no? Just the, uh, the primer. Yeah? yeah? Okay, so the floor has had its first varnish. Um, it's looking pretty, pretty impressive in here. Really, really beautiful. Um, I wish I could just give you more of a, I don't know, like a dynamic, impressed look, but wow. Like, just think back to what those little bits of parquet looked like when we first got them. And like, this is just so, so impressive. Such a difference. Um, and it just looks absolutely stunning. Um, we have decided we are going to go and get like a buffing machine and just like buff it up a little bit because um, it just could do with that where you've got a couple of little like marks and stuff on the floor. Um, yeah, just going over it with a buffer will just help blend that out. Um, but it's looking really amazing. Um, obviously the next job will be to touch up any paint work to go around the skirting boards. Um, we've got the windows to do in here. Um, so all the window trim, plug sockets. Um, we need to do something about the door situation and you may or may not have noticed, but we don't even have a single 
light switch in here and right now the ceiling's looking pretty grubby also so um there's still quite a bit to do to get this room finished um but this is like a massive massive achievement in itself um so yeah so by the end of this weekend like the floor like this bit of the floor anyway will be done um and we can just focus on getting everything in place and cleaning up the piles and piles of dust that we have everywhere because everywhere is thick with dust so um yeah so a few touch up bits of painting to do and things where um it's caused um some issues but yeah a massive massive leap forward um so guys i'm gonna end the vlog here um i feel like this floor has been such an epic journey there's obviously still a little bit to do um we're still not quite finished yet but um what a transformation really really impressed uh with how things are looking it just looks absolutely great and um i just can't wait to see some furniture in here and it all painted and beautiful and the walls not kind of orange <laughs> um, but yeah uh it's just been really really fab seeing jack's hard work come to fruition and um yeah all those horrible, dirty, disgusting blocks that we spent like a week to two weeks cleaning um, now are this amazing, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful floor, um, which is just incredible. Anyway, guys, um, <laughs> uh, I will see you later. Bye.